Hey everybody, welcome back. I've had um, some... Yeah, I played a little of the weekly on Twitch. I had some success. Not much. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what worked for us. Um, definitely one big buffalo run worked. I really feel like it's deceptive. Like in the late game, the buffalo and the bison getting to 50-50, maybe a bat to override some equipment, or like a spawn build with turkey, tiger, fly. No fly, no, no tiger, but turkey, fly. Sure. I feel like a lot of your success depends on not losing HP. Always, in, you know, to be fair, but especially this weekly. I feel like a lot of your success depends on not losing HP in the early game so you can survive with enough, enough HP to make the pivot when you get the units that actually define the late game meta. How does that sound? Let me be a misshaped bell tower. It would be my license plate were I a urologist. I don't think either of us are going to be in rush hour three on this one. Now, of course, we can only... It, it, it sounded good. What I just said sounded great. But actually, you know, executing on this vision in practice is not always the easiest thing in the world. And then it depends on the shops as well. You get great shops, you look like a genius. You get bad shops, you look like you're terrible at the game. I respect what they're doing here. They're going for something a little bit more midterm. They're not worried about this round. They'll get the health re refunded anyway, at least a little bit. They're going for that, that big bison early. And you know what? Sometimes, sometimes that's what you need. You should do this. Do this. Buy me. Buy me. Beautiful. Roll me. Was hoping, of course, to get another penguin. Honestly, I think I'd, I think I'd send it. I think you could run a toad for a little bit here. We're four squatted, but for round three, like what a four squat it is. And there is always the potential, not a guarantee, of course, but the potential that we could run like catfish penguin if the penguin manages to level up more. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I mean, for now, I would just run these two. It's not like we have a garlic or something to look out for. We're going to buff the penguin and we're going to like with the pill bug and we're going to buff the ladybug, the or the beetle, the beetle for obvious reasons, the penguin more so because it's the unit most likely to stick around as crazy as that is. We're going to be outclassed here by a by a sheep build, though. I, I respect the hedgehog attempts. Some of them have worked for me. They have. I got I got 10 pieces with one. Don't forget it. Now you got to go. We could run our own sheep. There are other units I'd rather run first, though. Man, I hate to dump you, but 10 gold? Maybe we say no to a clownfish, or say no to a blobfish. We indeed buy this. What do, you, what do you think about rolling a skunk and then saying, forget the lettuce? Building a skunk early might do something for you. Might not as well. I, originally, I was thinking we would try to make like the lettuce work here. Buy a bunch of tier threes, buy lettuce, try to get some value there. Obviously, that didn't work. But the team still looks pretty good. And it, the more penguins we get at this point, the merrier. I mean, if we can get a level three penguin and pivot it into a bison, then I mean, we're seriously cooking. Why don't you take this? Why don't you take that? And honestly, like, while we're here, spending on rolls, to me, it does make sense when you have a clownfish, but it also makes sense to just take, like, a discrete stat boost, like, as the as the crow flies. Hold on. I'm feeling mighty intelligent for the first time on this weekly in a long time. So that's win number four. The shops have been good. The game has been kind. I would take a level. Polar bear is an interesting one. It really is. Like, sell a clownfish, run a polar bear, buffing something in the shop? I don't know. I talked myself out of it. <laughs> what am I looking for? I don't know. I don't know. Cans into, like, big pivots later? I don't think we're worried about the, the blobfish at this point, which is probably a sign that we should no longer be worried about the clownfish either. But we're, we're mostly looking... I, but what do you do? Do you get rid of... The, no, you want to keep the skunk, so I don't I don't know. Okay, do, with 4 HP, I think we have to look at this one as like... If, if you're not near lethal and a buffalo shows up and you're sick of losing... I mean, this is a lot of caveats, but I, I feel like you owe it to yourself to, to, you know, 
put every opportunity to win possible in your corner. Go for it. You deserve it. So sell me, buy me. And then this is where things get crazy. I would sell the skunk, though it pains me, because we need the space to generate things for our, our buffalo. We really want the buffalo to level as soon as possible. And next round is chocolate. Roll me? Really? Like, it's just... Is, it, is this the joke? Is the joke that you give us detritus units? And this right here. Seven, seven, eight, eight. You're actually going to be at eight, ten starting next round. For round nine, which is coming up, I don't think our squad is that incredible. But the bison, or is it the, the buffalo being able to scale may change that. Or it may change nothing at all. We basically just got beaten by the same team that we sold, which hurts. <laughs> but alas, it is what it is. Um, I guess this is technically like a 1-1 one, one and a 1-1 one, one for the beetle as well. So let's try it. Pardon me. Certainly, we'll, we'll do this. And then sell me. And then buy me. And then sell me. The chinchilla does not work the way that I thought it worked for the buffalo. Why did I think it was on friends summoned? I don't think they changed that. I think it's just a brain blind spot. I'm, I'm thinking of dog strats. Okay, this team will own us, I think. Two turkeys goes kind of crazy. This team probably would not own us. Wait a minute. We drew. We I'll take my draw. And of course, it's Billy Billy XP, by the way. And then on top of Billy Billy XP, get used to seeing... Empty the cup, and then get used to seeing Wireframe Jesus. I don't know how they hacked the system, but they're the, they're the only people left in the game right now. Maybe that's how they hacked the system, is just by existing. Next round. No, wait, we're on tier fives, right? Yeah, we want to see a lemon as soon as possible. Even more than we want to see another unit. Lemon? No lemon. Okay, zebra. I would still keep you around for the buy sell. 23.25. Sans lemon is a little bit, it's not a guarantee, but it's, it's certainly, I mean, it's punching heavy. No doubt about that. Another spawning team. That's the, like the most beautiful ask you could ever get out of a uh, an eagle. So I don't think we have a, a leg to stand on here. I did see some people in my chat say this might be the worst weekly they've ever done. I don't know if I would take it that far. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not my favorite weekly. It is a nice break from just... Um, I'm going to sell you and buy You know what? Why not? While we're here, why not? Just level you. It's just, just for fun. The Bird of Paradise might go hard too. But we really, we, we, now that we got you at a level three, we don't have to focus so much on the buy sell because less of them will be required to take us to max. But we're still going to lose, huh? I am getting a little bit, I mean, fed up is one way to describe it. Also, Skywave is another person we just play over and over. I'm not suggesting these people are doing anything wrong, by the way. I'm merely suggesting that we do seem to play against them uh, almost exclusively. I don't know if it's due to, if, it, if there's some white hat hacking going on, or if it's just by virtue of them being the people around, but... Let me think about this. We might want to try to, like, level up a better unit. Like, like, level up the Sabertooth instead of needlessly just buying into... It. Like, okay, hear me out. I'm going to make a, a disgusting pivot. I'm going to sell this penguin. I'm going to buy this for you. I'm going to buy this. Please give the buff to the saber tooth. The saber tooth needs it. The saber give the buff to the saber tooth. The saber tooth needs it. Probably should have bought the penguin before we sold the penguin. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but um, I don't think a ten eight saber tooth is doing anything. But I do get a little sick of only getting beat by like one of two teams, and the teams are like almost exclusively extremely huge bison and buffalo with lemon or like turkey, eagle, 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 fly, eagle, 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 etc. But I guess I'm mostly sick of it because I'm not the one doing that. If I could get those animals and those uh, buffs myself, I would probably be pretty stoked, honestly. I'd, I'd, I'd be over the moon. I could see a PETA on you being good if we could get there. 
We're not going to get there this turn. This is fine. I'd get more zebras. Maybe we shouldn't even be selling our zebras. They, they seem to be coming through in the clutch, but... Okay, we're relying on one big buffalo to finish the job. We no longer need a buy-sell. You feel like Lemon should be strong enough to deal with a squad like this, but obviously I'd also rather have like two Lemons. And we don't have two Lemons on the team. Ooh, are you guys gonna do enough damage to finish the job? You pieces of crap! <laughs> You know what? I, we should take a deep breath. It has been a while since Turkey Fly dominated the meta like this, so maybe it's a nice break. But it is, or it, maybe it's their time, I guess I should say, but it is, like, annoying. <laughs> um, let me be, like, a... How about a sour hipster? I'm sick of this guy. And I'm pointing to the... Uh, I'm pointing to the turkey tiger fly. There's no tiger, but there's the tiger's in the name. It's like, you know, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Even when Young's not there, you know. I mean, the, the ghost of him lingers. Let's put it that way. I know he's alive. Yeah, okay. I mean, we don't really care what gets buffed because everything's going to get sold except possibly the bluebird, or maybe we keep the mice around to try to create, like, a bison or something, but holy cow, we won a game. level me I'd rather just have a bat honestly yikes um yeah I still hate the squad now this I now Tain I can get into let's put a hedgehog at the back and for now we're building a squad that is like guaranteed to draw if at best <laughs> Shouldn't flatter myself, I say, is guaranteed to draw, because it could easily lose as well, but what it is guaranteed to do is not win. That's the important part. And here, it actually lost, so that's a bad start for our proof of concept here, but I, I still believe in it for whatever reason. And I, I am, at this point, I'm going for... Uh, the bison. And if we get it, I think we're loving life. If we don't get it, I think we're mighty disappointed. You would not like that. Not in that order. The stack resolves. Okay, my level though, bison. It doesn't seem to help. We have to try. I mean, that's... We have three HP. That's a reasonable amount. You're not doing anything. Goodbye. Um, I guess we'll run Porcupine, just because we can. And then I'll move you to the front. Obviously, you're going to die, but that's a small price to pay for the reward we get, which is nothing. The bird will go next. Every unit except the bird is living through this attack, which is nice. Them having a spider, not nice. Empty the cup, nice to see you. Look, Team Wood, it's only been a day, okay? I'm like, since I noticed this issue. And I, I'm not even sure if it is a, uh, if it is an issue. Like, if, if it's a bug or if it's a, I don't, I don't know what it is, is I guess what I'm trying to say. No, hold on, we're just, I know it looks silly, but we gotta try to take our buffs as they lie here. Um, at the very least, if you can't, figure out why I'm just matching the same people. And and a bunch of people in chat were saying they were playing the same people over and over too. So it's it's not just me. If if that's like maybe it's a player base count issue, like a player count issue, or maybe it's like uh, something more sinister, what you could do is release a patch that just randomizes the names so at least it feels like I'm not losing to the same three people over and over. Okay, roll me. We're on one life. I would say that's bad. This is worse than our last run somehow. I don't think we need you. But maybe because you're doing... You know, there are a lot of snake teams. I'm going full crazy mode. Here's, here's a new one for you. Selling your tier 3. Trying to create a, a huge porcupine. Very nice. Now let's see the quote tweets. Thank you. And one more unit. Dude, that's a good unit. I'm... Uh, we got one extra gold. So true. 
Not worried about the bison. Look, we've had a thousand bison runs in our life. Would have been nice if that bison was there before we sold our uh, our level three unit, but alas, it happens. And look, it's already coming up roses. Roses? Skywave? You're on notice, buddy. What did they do? You happen to also be someone we're playing against quite often, and it's not really your fault, but you would maybe get annoyed too, or maybe you would, maybe you're a better person than me, but you might be annoyed if you keep consistently losing to the same people over and over as well. It's a buy and a sell, but not a buy and a roll. And the, just the, you, you know what? The first opportunity we've had in a while to make the frigate bird actually accomplish something, potentially. I'm a little surprised we're not toast yet. What I'm not surprised, uh, we're toast by the way. What I'm not surprised is that we lost to empty the cup. That seems to be pretty, r slash, <laughs> reddit.com slash r slash super auto pets. Let me see here. Anybody else playing the same people over and over? Playing a pub quiz. Shop moment. Me on this weekly. Why did I have the surgeon fish, Bard? Why did I have the surgeon fish? Okay, very clever. Test server's out. Yeah, there is new test server. Uh, there's a hard mode, apparently, on the test server now. I gotta check that out. Nobody else is talking about this? Am I the... It, it, Am I living in, like, a simulation right now? Okay. Scale me. Stats, stats. Good stats. This is anti-moth technology. Pill bugs come out next time. Remember our, our training, okay? Let's be a moody hostess. Remember our training. What's our training? Ah, oh, it's a really strong team. Vast Chungus. Training is survive the early game. Any extra stats we get, I guess, are gravy. You know what? I think we should. Maybe go big spiders? A slightly larger spider? I wouldn't really call it big. It'd be a slightly larger spider than is typical. That could work with a hedgehog or something like that. Survive the early game. <clears throat> Use that as an opportunity to pivot in the late game to something that might take some impetus to get started, but will eventually get you there. That's my hope. Why don't you freeze me some bacon? I would buy this. I'm not really thrilled with a kangaroo, but it does appear to sort of work with our existing squad. And then I would honestly freeze a penguin. For all the negativity that's happened to us, or as a result of our actions on this game at least, we do still seem to be getting value out of the penguin. The toad and the hedgehog go crazy together, huh? Who would have thought? I mean, if by go crazy you mean get a draw with zero wins on the squad, then I guess. But, okay, sell me. Buy me. I guess I would... You tend not to matter... The fact that you level doesn't matter that much. So if that's the case, we'll do it on a turn where the level up giving us a new tier of unit is probably the smart play. Yes. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. Because a level two spider tends to not, I mean, it spits out a, a two, two, level two. Most tier three units, that's not like a huge impact, but now a skunk, a skunk I think could maybe do something. I also definitely think this weekly that bats go hard. So we're gonna pivot to like some stronger units. And I'm, do I feel smart? Do I feel dumb? I don't know. I feel like I have one win but zero losses. I would say I feel middling right now. Level two kangaroo might hit though, if we could get it. You're also, what are you doing? Nothing, okay, I'll take it. Feels good. Maybe Kangaroo can do something this week. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. This is very much like against my better judgment. But the, you know what? We oftentimes in the mid game, if we're lost, we just end up wasting our gold on rolls anyway. At least we're getting some stats out of it in, in this capacity. What a squad. What is this? 
<laughs> why did I have the surgeon fish, Bard? If there's no trumpets, why did I have the surgeon fish? Maybe this is a good opportunity for a can. So we're not really sold on any of our units thus far anyway. And then we can recover some gold with the with the grape. We improved our squad like literally zero except for the the pill bugs HP, but what the heck is this? I'm sorry, I, I'm offended by your squad. You've got the mantle right now of, of every squad you create goes into multiplayer, and you come out here with garbage like that? Like, we're supposed to have a little bit more decorum. Nothing here. Un unless I sold something for a mole, which I don't really like the idea of right now. Well, okay, I'm sorry to the skunk. I think it's a great unit, but I think the crocodile goes harder. It depends on the on the timbre of the weekly, but especially right now. In a weekly where there's so few snipers, having a sniper feels nice. And then this person moved their turkey up so that it wouldn't get hit by a crocodile. It's... Does nobody see how crazy this is? Okay, as of right now, I mean, I'm feeling good. Lemon on kangaroo could go a long way. Early lemon could change the world here. You don't do anything for us, but it's the thought that counts. Definitely gonna buy you. I don't feel like we need the pill bug to level. It's not a spawning build, at least at, not yet. Although now I look at it and I'm like, maybe we could sell a pill bug, take a turkey, and then be the pain we want to inflict on the world. We could start taking spawning units and, and just go and you know, doing to them what they've done to us. But we can't get rid of our kangaroo. That's like the catch. The catch kangaroo. Because we need a lemon on this kangaroo, and then we're going to the freaking moon, dude. Right now, our turkey's not doing much, but it did enough. More spawners. These are not spawners. <clears throat> I'm going to can... I'm going to roll another spy. I mean, you give three, three. I really don't feel like dumping a bat. Yet, I, I do feel like we got to do it when we get like a, an eagle or something like that, but not, or a, or a wolf for that matter, or a second turkey, or maybe a rooster, which I, I hope is not spawned and I've just not paid attention to. That one hurt. That was a strong lemon team. And now it's empty the cup for they came with a, to us with detritus earlier, the three possum build, and now they're back with, with everything they got. Okay. We need unwind the whole team. Turkey moves to the back. It needs to be able to survive for sure. But bat also leaves. Eagle must exist. Sheep must exist. Eagle moves to the front just in case. Another lemon. You probably want it at some point, but maybe not like on this. Okay, very important. Sheep, I would say not so important, but the, the turkey and maybe some chocolate to go on the turkey. Am I doing enough? I'm not doing enough damage and then their crocodile, their, their caterpillar is going to be better. It's going to give us two HP on the way back. This is not good. This is, <laughs> it has all fallen apart for sure. Hmm. Starting to think we shouldn't have unwound the, the team that was getting us results. Oh, well, nevertheless. Not good enough. Hoping to see chocolate, but it is, it's a little bit of a fool's mate hoping to see chocolate in a situation where uh, you've got half the food shop frozen. This is also looking horrendous. Okay, we're, we're reaching the point of disillusionment again. There's no way we're punching through a 30-30 a there. Holy cow, they're getting a lot of extra gold. It's okay. They paid the toll. They got there. Chocolate. Another lemon. It's just not, it's just not meaningful for us. The spider, I would really not like to go with the level 3 spider just because it provides in all likelihood such little value. Another eagle would hit the spot, another turkey would hit the spot, a chocolate so we could apply it as we see fit would really, really hit the spot. The math! The math! 
But hey, on the bright side, at least it's not empty the cup. At least it's Billy Billy XP this time. <laughs> okay, one life. Fine. Um, chocolate? Chocolate eagle? Eagle, okay. At least it's something. I don't think the shops were... were too kind to us this time, and I, I don't think they were too merciless. They were somewhere in the middle. But uh, the 50-50 bison with a snake behind it does not care. That's the, the most important thing for you to note. Any shot that this... Uh, that's not going to do enough. That's not going to do enough for you. Thanks for watching the Bison Chronicles. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. That's a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I will see you next time. See ya!